Hello and welcome to the uh, next in my s series of uh, my do-it-yourself Arduino base MIDI controller for my atomic amps amplifier and my pedal board. Um, just quickly for this uh, demonstration, these are up and down the set list buttons. So each each one has a song. These are the edit buttons or keys I'm calling them. This is my option button. Ignore that. That's my option button. And these are my bank buttons. And that's my bank selector button. That's my solo button. The functionality change I've made is in addition to the previous version where in, I've changed this to say in edit mode I can change what the song name is for, for number 27. It's now Gloria. And each time I just have to cycle through to sort of set that in the memory. Um, so if you did 20 patches, you don't have to do that once. Now in uh, volume mode, you can set the minimum volume of the volume pedal. There's another um, video on YouTube about that. In solo mode, this is the new functionality. So for a patch or a number in the set list, Gloria, the two set list indicator lights are on <clears throat> saying we're in patch mode if I press solo it goes into solo mode and in this case Gloria is green number three so just to explain the functionality of that I'll turn it off so lights back on in set list mode I have three banks of four switches in this switch array here so if I go to bank one there's three banks because they're tricolor LEDs if I had four color LEDs, I'd probably use four, but I probably don't need that many. So the functionality of these banks is these cycle through the four. And when the bank's on, you can see what's happening there. If you push it again, it goes back to set list mode. The thing I've changed is to say... I don't want to have to do all that switching and bank switching and selecting one of these switches for each each song in the set list. I want a dedicated song f solo channel for each song. So this is now my, instead of having five, uh, three banks of five, three banks of four, and I've changed the functionality of this to be my solo button. You press that and you get the solo you selected. So the way that works when it's in solo mode, for example, Gloria, is I can cycle up through these buttons. So I've just gone to number four. Let's change Gloria to, uh, let's make it, I've gone all the way to the end. We'll go back. We'll make it uh, red two. Right. Now if we just do that again, if I press the button for Gloria, it's red two. Now, if I go back to edit mode, just to test this, and if I go to, let's just say we'll go to number, song number 30, and we'll change that to be Gloria, if we can find it. Oh, there it is, Gloria. Now we know, sorry, I just bumped the camera. We know that Gloria is red too. Let's just go to solo mode and change that to something different. We'll change it to um, green four. Okay, so Gloria is now green four. Now if I go back to the other part of this, the other entry in the song list where we had Gloria, press a button, green four. So it's all going to EEPROM memory. So no matter when I, if I press select that song for that set list number, it'll know from the uh, Arduino sketch code that I've written to put into EEPROM memory, it'll know which um, solo channel to choose when you press the solo button. Um, and of course, being using my edit keys, I can still use my wireless remote if I want to do that. So if I go up to the set list and say, um, let's go to solo, 
and going down. Get to the next S glory again. Let me say uh, I want to change its solo mode to it's going to cycle all the way through, going to the end. Let's change it to blue 2. Easy to remember, blue 2. So if I cycle through to reset it and say Gloria is now blue 2. Now if I go back down the set list to the other instance of Gloria, blue 2. Thanks, bye.